Hello, beloved community. I am Reverend Catherine Britton, minister at Sylvan United Church and Camp Pringle on beautiful Vancouver Island. And I am talking to you from the woods behind where we live. We are some of the privileged few who are able to access nature readily from a trail system that comes right behind our house. That we can walk the trails that are not frequently used by many people, so it is safe for the social distancing. And still keep ourselves sane. Previously, I recorded a video and talked about how important it was for us to be able to connect with nature. And I wanted to reflect a little bit more on that with you. I think now more than ever, we need to have that reminder that we are a part of creation. We are deeply connected to nature. It is part of our souls. It is part of our being. And it's especially important right now because we are struggling with this pandemic. We don't know what's going to happen next. Things are changing all the time. Our worlds are often shrinking and getting smaller as we're told to stay home for the safety of each other, for the safety of the whole. And so it's important to remember that we are one part of creation. We are connected to it. And as we struggle with our sudden and indefinite change of plans, understanding, travel plans, the rhythm of our days and our weeks, it's good to remember that we are just one part of a greater whole. We are part of creation and we're not even the most important part. Despite our most excellent theologies and excellent technologies, we are just one part. Lots of places along the trail people are leaving. Reminders that we are here. Painted rocks, lots of anookshooks, painted shells. And I was really struck thinking about how we tend to fool ourselves as humans into thinking that we are the ones in charge. We are the ones in control with our amazing technological know-how, our great brains, our tools, our ability to build. We create an illusion that we're the ones in control. And that illusion is so easily destroyed by something as simple as a virus that's kept us home. But this isn't the only time we face this kind of uncertainty. This is absolutely not the only time we face this kind of uncertainty, and it's not the most desperate time. And I'll reflect on that in another video. But for now, as we take this beautiful walk through the woods on this lovely boardwalk that somebody has built to keep our feet dry over the pond, we come to this. where the sidewalk ends. The trail continues over there, you can see it. But here the sidewalk ends because an industrious rodent has disrupted humanity's best laid plans, has redirected. You can see some chewed on logs there, some at the beginning of this video. So. We have had our plans disrupted and redirected by a virus, and that's hard. But we can do this. We have may have may had our plans changed by a virus or an industrious rodent, but we can do this. We can do what we need to, share what we have, be grateful for everything we have, 
reach out to our neighbors and live with the redirection. For after all, we are one part of a glorious whole. Thanks be to God. <laughs>